What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today's review is going to be on the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Beast Morphers Yellow Ranger. So again, like the previous reviews, this is the windowless packaging from Hasbro. You have a picture of the figure and on the top left you have a you know promo art of the character herself. On the side you get another promo art of the character as well. And then on the back, you get a promo shot of the figure, as well as what accessories comes with the figure, and how tall the figure is. Now, one interesting fact is that this figure is actually a little bit taller than the previous uh, female figures. I believe Dino Fury Green was slightly shorter, so that's something interesting. Not all the female bucks are the same height, so that's, that's cool. It adds a little bit of a difference. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Are you YouTube? So this is how the figure came out of the packaging. As you can see, this is the unmasked head sculpt uh, for Zoe, I believe her name is. Now, a little disclosure, I've never watched Beavis Morphers, uh, so I'm not really familiar with the characters, uh, the name of anything. Uh, I've, as I mentioned in my previous review, I've actually just been watching Go Busters. Um, so that's kind of honestly why I picked out this figure. Um, but in any case, it looks pretty good. Um, there's definitely some interesting things with the articulation. Um, I do like that this one is like, it's a separate piece. Or not really a separate piece, but it's kind of cut out to make it look like, a, I guess, how it is in the, in the series itself. So that's a nice, interesting touch. They didn't just make it uh, kind, of, kind of cut off here at the waist. Uh, so that's, that's definitely neat. Um, I do like they're putting slits on the sides. Real nice. Um, so all in all, I do like the paint. Uh, the paint actually is pretty good on the Morpher, I want to say. Uh, that's definitely a lot more paint than I expected for sure. Uh, so that's definitely a nice touch. So let's get into what the figure comes with and then we'll go over the articulation as well as switching out the head sculpt. So for the hands, we get a karate chop right hand as well as a fisted left hand. And on the figure itself, she comes with two open grabby hands. One thing to note. She also comes with the sword right here, which is also painted pretty well. Uh, again, that's a little bit more paint than I expected, which is, you know, honestly, it looks really good. And she also comes with the uh, so, uh, spiral sword effect. Uh, we've seen this on a few figures as well. And, of course, you get the masked head sculpt. Um, I'll be switching this on, but this one looks really nice. I like it. It's painted in all the right areas. Um, I want to say that the mouthpiece could be a little bit more... Uh, I think that could be done a little bit better, but all in all, pretty nice. I don't really have any complaints. Okay, and this is how she looks with the uh, masked head sculpt on. Uh, this looks really nice. I love the fact that they gave her the straps. Um, that's very accurate to the show um, and it looks really good you know in the show it, these are actual straps um, so that 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 was really well done I like that it wasn't necessarily sculpted in um, I honestly wouldn't have minded if it was truth be told but I do like the you know they tried to go a little bit of a you know make make it look a little bit more authentic um, to how it was in the show um, you get uh, you know all, all the nice things about it so uh, let, let's go over the uh, articulation. So she does have the newer style of the head. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know if it's the, the female figures, but they just don't really seem to have that same type of range of movement that I know the male figures have. Um, and as you can see, she does have the butterfly joints. Uh, I've never actually messed with the joints yet, so you do get the joint out and in. Um, this one, again goes up and just like the previous reviews um, I, I, every single figure in this wave that I reviewed the um, the the shoulder articulation has been really good I, I'm really a big fan of that so that's definitely nice you get the uh, bicep swivel with the double jointed uh, elbows and then with this you also do get the vertical hinge on the wrist which uh, I said in the previous review any sword wielding or uh, gun wielding uh, character um, I, th I love that they have a vertical hinge and then you also do get a vertical hinge on this arm as well um, you get a upper uh, kind of chest diaphragm cut with um, 
a uh, bend at the uh, at the uh, the waist, so to speak. So that looks really good. Actually, feel, feels really good. Um, it goes a little bit further than the previous figures, even though this belt is actually cut pretty high. Um, that's another good touch. Um, and then, of course, for the articulation for the leg, she has no problem kicking up because of the split in the skirt. She has the upper thigh swivel, double jointed uh, knees, the thigh, uh, no, the uh, chin rotation, and then the ankle pivot, which looks really nice too, works really well. So all in all, I'm gonna say I'm, a, I'm really enjoying this figure. Um, this one just looks really dope, and I love that. that I want to say that they went the extra mile with with the uh, the paint. Um, that's definitely a nice touch for sure. All right, YouTube. So that pretty much concludes my review. I believe this will be the last figure from this new wave that I'll be reviewing as of right now. Uh, I pretty much got all the figures that I'm truly interested in. I may get a putrid, but honestly, I'll probably wait for those to to even go on sale. Um, which is probably way down the line um, just because that's an army builder and to me it, it'd be pointless to just get one putrid at a time I, i'd rather get it in kind of bulk so i'll wait for some type of sale or clearance or whatnot um, but all in all my thoughts about this wave in particular it's been really good uh, i didn't expect to like every single figure in this wave um, but i did uh, mainly i was originally interested in just dino fury green so uh cure you blue um, as well as uh, Beast Morphers Yellow was uh, definitely a nice surprise. And um, I believe that uh, the next wave is also going to be a banger too. I'm, I'm definitely excited for that one. So um, I think this is a step in the right direction. I think they're giving us figures that look that look really good. And, um, you know, they're, they're definitely characters that I think a lot of people want. So uh, with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I definitely appreciate it. I love all the new support that I've been getting. And although it's not a lot, definitely means a lot. And it, you know, helps me be motivated to kind of crank these things out and bring new content for you guys. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Peace.